Yup, what's good, original crew, man? We're back. We have hidden meanings behind Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us music video explained. Yo, this has a lot of symb symbolic things. And uh, when I say a lot, I mean a lot, man. I, like every time I see something, it's just like boom, something boom, new. boom, boom, something yeah. new. Somebody going deeper oh, okay. and deeper and deeper mm. into it, man. So we're going to see what this video This video is short, but we might like... We're going to be dissecting it with him as well, so hopefully y'all enjoy that. Um, I know it was a surprise, man. I know a lot of y'all was surprised when we dropped the music video, man. Mm -hmm. uh, we recorded the next day because uh, we was obviously uh, tied up with doing stuff uh, on the 4th, and so we wasn't able to record. We we didn't re even record oh, anything that say, day. Yeah. Like, that was our day that off, our too. Day off, yeah. Like, uh, just for our sanity, we take days off. We don't record every day, but we take days off mm -hmm. so we can be able to still have, live like a, a, a traditional normal life, man. So, uh, but, uh, honestly, I'm proud. I'm proud of this record. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not only, not because of a diss track, but because the excitement so many people have uh, had surrounding this track. Yeah. Uh, it, it brought a lot of people back to music. It, it brought me back to, um, I'm going to say about 20, like that 2014, mm -hmm. 2015 time in music where people were happy to see music drop, yeah. see music videos drop. Uh, it's it's been a minute since people it's been, been that excited. Yeah. Because a lot of times we've been we've been getting a lot of mediocre. Yeah, I'm not saying. You know what I'm saying? Mediocre. Um, music mediocre visuals nobody puts thought behind visuals and this was this music video was too thought out yeah it was thought out to the point where like you ain't gonna catch everything the first first go around no. and us as reactors like honestly i just wanted to enjoy it Most i just wanted to enjoy it i know it has some sublim subliminals in it i just wanted to enjoy it man and that honestly that's the reason why i like Low key, why we stopped doing music reactions to a point. Yeah. Like the enjoyment <laughs> factor kind of left behind. Yeah. Uh, not just doing it, but the 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 expectations for me. For me, it was the expectations of people feeling like you should like know every single thing or to be able to point out every single thing, hear every single thing, yeah. or felt like we didn't. Like we don't care. Certain, certain things. Or sometimes. you have to over explain or yourself. Over -explain and I'm just like, like I just I love music too much for somebody to take the enjoyment out for yeah, me. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, mm, let's take a step back. Like but. literally, my my one of I got I have two passions. Two mm -hmm. passions. One is sports. Mm -hmm. Especially basketball. Like you even said before. Like you should start start you up a, a basketball channel and you like talk because you're very knowledgeable. Yeah. You know, there's too many people on the internet to want to do this for me to Really, because y'all are take, like ruin my passion for it. Two, music. Mm -hmm. Music is my passion as well. Those are two careers I thought about going into, and I decided to go into the uh, realm of doing mu uh, music career, and I do have a degree. Uh, I went to school, got a degree in um, the entertainment business, mm. music, study audio production as well. Uh, so when I, when I critique like how something sounds, I'm coming from that aspect of it, but also from the business aspect of it. But this one, this visual, just made made me in. Like it touched my heart. Yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah, from definitely. passion. But hey, make sure y'all check out the links in the description box down below. You already know where to go if you want to first support. All you have to do is check it down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's visuals, like it and a thumbs up. Oh, uh, also for those who are asking, because we I told you we was gonna get it. Will we drop any more music reactions over here on? Highly doubt it, unless it's something like this. Yeah, it's just something that's like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Highly doubt it. If we do decide in the future, it'll be on our Patreon. So, uh, go show some love and support. Links in the description. Let's get it. Kendrick's music video for Not Like Us is full of layered disses towards Drake, like this scene of him with an owl in a cage, referencing Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, implying that Drake should stick to singing over rapping with the owl. Oh, you going that deep? <laughs> I thought he would just. 
and and that's the reason why I like art. Mm-hmm. You know, like when you go see a painting, everybody's like, "Oh, I wonder what Everybody the art." The art, yeah, because until, yours was different. Like we tried to, you know, dissect that scene. Yeah, but it was different than like everybody. That's a mother. He an artist, bro. <laughs> He's a true artist, bro. Yeah. Because everybody's perception is always going to be different. And that's what an artist, like, let me, my, I'm just gonna because. I'm going to put it out there. It's, it's, here, I'm going to paint this picture for you. I bet he be sitting and back he, watching our <laughs> motherfuckers on YouTube, see what, how everybody thoughts and opinions are. Can't just look like yeah, that title. Yeah, yeah. Presenting Drake since it's OVO's logo. And also implying Drake should be locked up for all the PDF file allegations that Kendrick talks about on the song. He's even playing Hopscotch, a game that little girls play, in the scene where he's. That that part A minor, yeah. I, I, cause I I kind of caught I it. I didn't get that part when we again, reacted to it, but I didn't want to. We wanna... didn't like pause and like dissect things. We were really just like enjoying it. You have, you know, everyone has their role that they do. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. have people that sit and dissect things, and we appreciate. So the A minor you. line and dropping the video on the fourth. Of- I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to do it as you stop. My bad. I'm not cut, trying to cut you off. I highly apologize. Mm. Were well, you finished? I'm finished. Uh, I'm sorry. He's even playing Hopscotch, a game that little girls play, in the scene where he says the A minor line. And dropping the video on the 4th of July, a day celebrating American independence, after doing the pop-out show on Juneteenth, proves that he planned the whole aftermath of the beef out. Continuing his point about Drake being not like us, an outsider to American rap culture, something he puts on full display when he brings out all of LA to Compton to chant this diss with him throughout the video. It especially fits with him calling Drake a colonizer, since the 4th of July was when America got freed from being a British colony. Kendrick uses LA rapper and celebrity friends throughout his pop-out concert to show the heritage and history that he comes from that Drake tries to imitate by associating with Atlanta artists, but just can't really replicate. And some of the stars that showed up in the show made an appearance in the video to double down on that point. From Mustard, who opened for him, to DeMar DeRozan, who he name dropped on the song since he went to go play for the Toronto Raptors, Drake's hometown team, but eventually came back home to the US and made an appearance on stage during the live performance of Not Like Us. Tommy the Clown, who also performed a set before Mustard at the show, is a dancer raised in South Central LA who was legendary for inventing the form of dancing called Clown. Bruh, that crown, bruh, it, like... Our generation really, really understands who Tommy the Clown is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't know about the younger generation, like the Gen Z generation. Yeah. I don't know because um, I never like seen it displayed while they were growing up. But I do know, like when we were younger, I remember the movie. Yeah. I remember Tommy, Tommy the Clown, the whole crumping movement. Cause we, she, I used to be hit that mom. Mm-hmm. Did you used to crump? Try to. Try to. I, I we ain't West Coast, so I we just used to try to imitate what we seen, bro. I mean, I used to do it. I don't know if it, you know. Chris what Brown saying. used to hit that. Yeah, no, Chris Brown know. used to hit that. Oh, I man, everybody was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but the uh, uh, did he do it in uh, Stump the Yard? When he crumping in Stump the Yard? Chris Brown. I'm pretty sure, maybe. I don't swear. give me the line. I don't, know. I don't even remember the But dancing was part of our, our generation, man. Yeah. With, uh, his Stumped the Yard, uh, B2K joint. Mm-hmm. What's, you, got what's the, you got served. Like all that. That was our generation, man. We, we love dancing, man. A huge inspiration behind Crumpet in response to the Rodney King riots in 1992. His movement was meant to be a healthy alternative to LA kids getting into drugs or crime, and those values reflect Kendrick's emphasis on art being a way to represent and heal communities rather than imitate them. He featured members of TDE and Black Hippie, from Schoolboy Q to J Rock to Absol to Top Dog, Punch, and Muso, and the video is 5 minutes and 55 seconds long. We all know Kendrick is always really specific with his numbers, and throughout his seasons on Degrassi, I saw that too. I said, what's the meaning between 555? Five, five? I said, is it paying homage to you? If you know, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or With that it- being the five. Or like what? Because cause Drake also had a reference to him saying he won't really banging. Yeah. And so he having to let him be known that I am really when about that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, the, and the step, if yeah. you know, you know what he's, you know what I'm saying? Oh, bro. Hey, it's a lot. And then, I don't know if he gonna bring it up. Hey, May, so just wait. Uh, five minutes and 55 seconds long. We all know Kendrick is always really specific with his numbers. And throughout his seasons on Degrassi, Drake was always spotted wearing triple five soul. He recreated this video of him doing push-ups in Compton. Oh, sh- well, I mean, could- that could be a reach, though. That could be a reach, too. Or it could be what I'm saying. It could be... Uh- it could be many things. Yes. That, that's the thing people fail to realize. Yeah. People think that it's just like, oh, if this person pointed this out, like, that's what it is. It could honestly mean many things. You know what, though? 
Kendrick is a type. So no, no, peep this. Kendrick is the type of person that likes to do double entendres and triple entendres mm-hmm. in the rap music. This motherfucker doing double entendres and triple entendres in the music video. <laughs> he like, I'm, a, I'm like, saying, I'm saying this, but I'm also meeting this. Of, you know what I'm saying, bro? But you can uh, interpret it this way, bro. He doing triple entendres with a, with a uh, music video. This is crazy, bro. This is on Degrassi. Drake was always spotted wearing triple five soul. He recreated this video of him doing pushups in Compton from his burner Instagram page, which he also referenced in his video for N95, a scene that Drake made fun of with his drop and give me fifty hook on the disc pushups. Kendrick later flipped this disc against Drake on Meet the Gram, saying that he would be a better father to Adonis because he'd teach him to do push-ups and build discipline instead of taking Ozempic for weight loss. Even the fact that he did push-ups in public as a celebrity in a random park in Compton was a statement about how much his city loves him, and how safe he is there, something that he's saying Drake will never have in a historical sense. Did you see did you see the scene? Cause I ain't really peeped that scene either when we were actually watching it. Yeah. But the scene where uh it looks as though somebody walking up behind Drake. And they get, and then the person just gets. I mean, not behind Drake, but behind Kendrick, and the person gets yanked. Did you do you remember that? I don't. I don't. I don't think somebody. So. And they were everybody. I was like, I had to look. It was supposed to be like a Drake lookalike. Okay. And the Drake okay. lookalike getting yanked, yanked away. I'm gonna have to go back and like watch, really watch, watch it. Watch the yeah, video. Because yeah, yeah, when yeah. we had you know reacted to it, it was like. I wanted. I was trying to find somebody who actually had like scene by scene breakdown because I feel like if you go through a scene by scene and break it down, I think you will catch every subliminal. Because you say you did see something. If you want to go ahead and oh no no no, okay. we'll I rep because okay. it's some other stuff I seen. I right would now. like to like see something like that because, like I said, we was you know reacting to it. It was like for the enjoyment. Like yeah it was like, yeah yeah. Like, we was like in the moment. In the moment, yeah, facts. So, yeah center of hip-hop like LA. He also does exactly 17 push-ups. He won 17 Grammys and he's also saying Drake doesn't want anything over 17. The pictures I are off the wall double in room that has studio speakers in it, which references Drake saying he made direct references to some of Drake's disses on Family Matters, specifically about him domestically abusing Whitney and Dave Free being the father of his son, with these scenes of posing and dancing with Whitney and his children right when he says the Family Matters line. And the fact that Dave Free directed the video, Whitney's even wearing a wife beater, directly referencing these allegations, something that I don't really feel like she'd do if they were True. He references the vignette type yeah. shot in Family Matters with this scene, and has this guy behind him in a ski mask representing oh, okay. Drake. That, that, yeah, okay, like Drake with the like scary yeah, hours. Yeah. yeah. So okay, I guess okay. I guess that's what he's referencing Drake with the scary hours with the shiesty mask yeah. on. But then when Drake comes up to try to grab him, it yanks him back, and then you got Compton rap like mm. like it's like I'm surrounded by Compton. Compton is gonna keep me safe. Be safe. Yeah, Cause like the dude I'm, got the Compton head on. I'm, I'm protected uh-huh, by Compton, uh-huh. bro. Kendrick is a mother <laughs> menace, bro. He's a mother. He's he's yeah. in his own head, bro. You can't mess with somebody when they in their own head. You know what I'm fact, saying? Fact. Now he ain't worried about being in your head. He's too busy being in his yeah. own head. That's a sick individual. In a good way. That ain't nobody you want to fuck with. In a good way. That's a crazy motherfucker. I thought you were going to say it again. No. In a good way. Mask representing Drake from his Dark Lane demo tapes album cover. In this scene, Drake is trying to catch up to Kendrick, but gets swept away right when he says the boogeyman line. And Kendrick is standing next to a guy with a Compton hat on, representing how him having a city by his side is why Drake will never catch up. He smacks the shit out of this owl pinata in some scenes, another reference to an activity little kids do at birthday parties, while also visually representing the beatdown that he's saying he gave Drake in this beef. And at the very beginning of the video, he gives us a snippet of a song with a Not Like Us type flow, potentially teasing either a remix or a preview of a song from his next album. The snippet also references Kamasi Washington, a saxophone player from LA who was featured on To Pippa Butterfly, hinting that his next album might have some of the same jazz influences that this album was famous for. He also references the blueprint by Jay-Z in a line about IP or intellectual property, which is kind of a response to Drake saying that he had to drop and give his label 50%, implying that what he's trying to build with PG Lang, his own label, is going to give him more control over his own music, just like Jay-Z with Rockefeller Records. This video actually reminded me a lot of the video for All Right, with the huge crowds of Compton natives singing along to Kendrick. And the music video for that also started with another song first. I don't know if this was a coincidence, but his fit looked mad similar to the guy from this viral video. Who has a lot of the same hating energy as Kendrick on Euphoria. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk, I hate- That's crazy. <laughs> now that's that's deep. Kendrick is Kendrick is I'm when telling I say you, things are like well put together, well thought out, well executed. Like it's just like I don't know. 
crazy. That's because when, when when people was like start breaking it, and I was like, I said that's fucking genius. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Yes, yeah. yes. Who has a lot of the same hating energy as Kendrick on Euphoria? I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. Let me know if you thought this music video lived up to the hype. They got five million views in four hours, and it's looking like it might be Kendrick's biggest video of all time. And for more context on this song, watch my breakdown here. Let me know what I missed down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, he ain't even breaking down, breaking down. I done seen people break it down way deeper, bro. Yeah, I was about to say, even what you, um. What? Uh. Like the, the, Oh, go ahead. The video I sent you I was earlier. I the videos that you sent me earlier. Like, that, just that little first part of the breakdown. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Oh, I didn't man, know. We, so, we going that deep. So, we didn't know, like, the, the, the very first part. I'm, yeah. And I'm gonna just bring it up uh, on the screen. This part when he he does the knock, it's mm -hmm. the knock, not necessarily was done, but it's the knock. Yeah. The th like the way he's knocked. Yeah. And it's it's a symbolic of the uh, what is it was the K walk, mm -hmm. the K walk reference. And I was like, and if you haven't seen that video, go do uh, do some research. Um, I ain't gonna tell like I I can't break it down exactly what Yeah, I was just don't, trying don't to find it. a title for people, but uh Yeah, but he even talked about it like how that's a reference. Also I seen somebody point this out right here, right? Mm hmm Uh I'm trying to trying to do it without Is this it? Is that the one? I don't think so. One. Nah, nah, that's a, so much stuff. That's another one. Yeah. Hold on, I'm I'm finna try to try to pull up something else. Uh so I don't know if y'all can see. Uh, let me let me, cause I I was like that's deep as hell. If you notice, all the ladies around their waist, like her right here, mm -hmm. but the, also the one she gets up and start crib walking. Mm -hmm. She has a blue bandana and also a red bandana, and they're twisted and tied. Mm -hmm. As far as tied into unity, mm -hmm. basically this song is uniting. Mm -hmm. The Crips in the Blood. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, every time the Crips in the Blood uh, do something, they take a stance, they tie it up mm -hmm. and show the unity amongst it. And they showing how much this, like, not like us, is bringing unity within their culture. Yeah. And I respect it so much. Honestly, this is an individual who is from Compton, giving back to Compton yeah. in, a, in the best way he can. Yeah. It's giving them a major hit record like this. Most definitely. But also, I want to touch on this. this is another part he didn't speak on, which I I wish more like I like that's the reason why I say I wish somebody had like a full frame by frame breakdown because it, it, there is a frame by frame breakdown mm -hmm. that should be happening happening. But also this right here, I sent I sent that to you what yesterday when somebody broke this down. Well, you just sent it to me. You told me about it, but yeah, I did see. That. Did I not see mm -hmm. you? But you told me. Oh, I showed you the video. Yeah, whatever. I showed you the video. Yeah. On my phone, I showed you. But this part right here with the... Uh, dang, what are these Shipping called? Shipping containers. Shipping containers. And the fact that they dancing around the shipping containers. This is such an odd scene, right? Mm -hmm. Such an odd scene for them. But also, it pointed out to the fact of... Trafficking. I'm gonna mm -hmm. just say that word. Yeah. AKA same thing R. Kelly was accused of mm -hmm. and, and and arrested for. And this is one way they do a lot of trafficking is through shipping containers. Mm -hmm. And they have people in those. And I'm like, bro, this man is a menace. Mm -hmm. If there if there was like like what he was going for, but again, like I said. He puts it out there. He paints this picture, and you, and you go and watch it, and or look at it, and you yeah. make your own, you know, assumptions, assumptions, and however you perceive it. You know what I'm saying? Also, That's what art is. <laughs> also, this font. Mm -hmm. Seeing a breakdown about the font. Mm -hmm. This is the same font that was used, and honestly, let never mind. Mm. I said Kendrick could see mother. <laughs> I, somebody pointed out that they used the same font that Drake used, and honestly, never mind uh, the cover art and mm. stuff. I said, bro, that is crazy. 
But I'm sure if you go more deeper, deeper frame by frame. Yeah. Also, I thought I thought the reference the reference of oh, this is a better uh image right here, hold on. Right here. Yeah. Uh if y'all see she got she has the the blue bandana and red bandana tied is tied in unity. Yeah. And I was like, that is so deep, bro. And then um with the push ups, I honestly thought there was a depiction of Kendra being locked in, in a cell because of the mattress. There's mm-hmm. one mattress. That's how MA sleep. Then with the MA clothing. Mm-hmm. And with the MA cause this how this, honestly this how my uncle was dressed when he came out for a little while. He was out. Yeah. He dressed the same way Kendrick is dressed. This is how he is. And then when I say that man an inmate, he's institutionalized. The man, he approached me also. Yeah. <laughs> he said, and who are you? I said, I'm, I'm, he, he startled me. I was, it was my first time ever meeting him. When was it? Like two years ago? It was my first time ever meeting him. And I, I basically told him, I'm your brother's son. He said, oh, I thought I was going to have to. I said, hold on, bro. Like, yeah. But, I'm like, I mean, again, but, it could be that. It could be what he said. It could be what somebody else No, said. no. I'm saying with the paintings behind him because he was like, uh, like oh, Pete, the painting turned around, though. Yeah. Uh, but I was thinking like like also he was like referencing like a jail cell, mm. well you know what I'm saying like lot or it could be ooh, bro Kendrick is sick bro, in a good way in a good way sick though, and then I need to know what the reference is behind the behind the chicken spot when the town spot I need to understand because I was like what's all it look like it might just be a little corner spot though yeah. That's a reference, bro. That's a. It could be a, a Compton staple. I don't know. Yeah, Somebody so fill me in on this spot that, yeah. because I said that has that has to mean something. But I think I think I think the if you really go in break it down even more, yeah. I think it means a. There's a lot more meaning um, in a uh, individual that we're not visibly noticing mm-hmm. right off back though. Facts, facts, facts. I'm pretty sure. Did, did he say he did? Whatever, we'll probably find like he said he had more breakdown for the song. For the song, song, but we'll probably find something else that kind of like break it down, like even more. But yeah, yeah. but good. Hey, great, great video, man. Great moment, great moment for for the culture, uh, for uh, hip hop and for the uh, our culture as well. Uh, because this this is this is a moment we needed though, mm-hmm. especially during rough times, man. But y'all spend my up, man. Let us know y'all thoughts in the comment section down below, man. But until next time, y'all know how it go, man. I do go by the name DJ New Kid. This is we are we out. Get me running away from my-